All right, so this video is going to be a giant mess. No idea what's going to go on with it, but, but let's get started. This is the first Avalanche competition since the return of TTA and the return of Avalanche under my incompetent leadership. Um, our first tournament is a hand-making contest. So here's the idea. Each of us, um, the six people who entered of the eight, which is incredible activity so far, really pleased with that, uh, built a hand following the following stipulations. One, uh, level five can use lower level cards, nothing higher than level five. Two, cannot use seven, seven corners. You can use seven, seven like horizontals or verticals where the sevens are not connected, but you can't use seven, seven corners. Three, can't use six, seven, sixes. So you can't use a card where the seven is sandwiched by two sixes, but you can use like a six, six, seven where the seven is touching another number than a six. And you'll see a bunch of those here. And four, and most important, the hand must be color coded. You must have at least three cards of the color of your choice. So here you can see Piggy Man has gone with purple. Smokes has gone with white. There was a little debate whether that second card counts as white, but we agreed it did, and I think it does. Uh, Tezuka went with red. You'll notice he went hard, and all five cards are red. Delial went with green. I went with blue when I needed to fill out the bracket, and it looked like the easiest color to finish off with. And Tezuka went with yellow. Um, there is some question whether the fourth card has yellow horns or not, but I think the fifth card has yellow fire anyway, so I think we're good on that front. We don't care about the controversy, I just wanted something goofy. But the real weird part is we're going to be having an AI, I think a very aggressive AI, play out all the games of the tournament. So here's what the format's going to be. Um, we've got, I'm going to put them in two groups of three, and those groups of three are going to play double round robin against each other, so they all get a first turn and a second turn, because I'm a lunatic, so I make weird formats. And then the winner of each group will face off in the finals. Um, I did not organize the color-coded images by groups, but our groups are going to be Smokes, Piggy, and Deli. So the first, second, and fourth you can see here. First, Tezuka was up in Foyer, the third, fifth, and sixth. So it almost lines up. Um, I did a random draw. That's what it came out with. And uh, I guess let's get started and see if this does the switch. It does do the switch. So this is our first match. Um, if we go back to the hands, we'll see we're starting with Piggy versus Smokes. So you can see when we get to it, Piggy on the left and Smokes on the right. The right hand will always be first to move. So I'm just going to start clicking the AI move button and see what happens. Uh, Smokes did not pick a selected starter, so his is just going to be whatever the AI wants. Um, well, it can certainly recapture that. Let's see how Piggy's hand responds in eight. Oh, we're getting creative over here. All right, Smoke plays, looks like, going to grab safety in seven. Pig's response, did he set up two ways? He did set up a same and a plus for the same card. This is not a terrible move in this kind of formation, um, though it usually signals you're behind. Smokes locks in his card in seven, makes sense. Piggy grabs the same. Uh, Piggy could not catch up. Smokes takes the opening point first Piggy. But now Piggy will get first turn. We'll see if he can return the damage. So I'm going to switch who is which color. Sorry for the slow time between switching. 1-0 lead to Smokes. And what do I need to click next? This is what I need to click next. Can Piggy come back? So hopefully this showed up. It did. Uh, Piggy's starter is also no starter. So he's going to play a weakish corner. Smoke sets up in five. Sets up a plus wall in four. I can see this card being the right one to put in five. Piggy with an opposite corner play. I call this a slash formation. Curious play from Smokes. That card is very vulnerable to Piggy's cards, and Piggy can potentially lock in. Does he have combos on anything Piggy locks in with? No. So I assumed Piggy was going to go 8. He does not. He goes 3, with the point that if Smokes takes, he's maybe very vulnerable to combos. I'm not actually seeing it. Okay, Smokes does take. And Piggy had the combos at the end. With Smokes' leftward sixes. Yeah. Alright, nicely played by Piggy. Gets back on the board. 
they tie their matchup one to one. We're gonna stay in this bracket for the for the starting period. So I think Smokes will now take on Delial. Um, for you, while I'm switching, let's go back to the picture so you can see, you know, what just happened. The uh, the purple versus the white split evenly, and now. We shall see green versus white. And this tournament is to determine the greatest color of all time. So it is very important and you should be deeply invested in it. Let's see if our next game loads. And we're back. So now we see Deli's hand celebrating green on the right. Deli will have first turn in the first game. Uh, Delhi said six, seven, four, three, and seven was his starter. This would have been the AI starter. Interesting move. Uh, but we will go with Delhi's intended starter. How will Smokes attack it? Adjacent corner, always a play I like. Sets up something in eight. Though that card's unlikely to be set up well in other squares, but you can't imagine one of the fives down setting it up to be good in four or six. Delhi takes the in-between square. Usually my recommendation on most sets, though I think on lower levels it is less appealing than on higher levels. Uh, Smoke sets up the L. Does not have the threatened five. This might be good for Delhi. Delhi blocks five anyway. Smokes going for not quite safety. Delhi takes. Smokes takes one back, and Delhi is the capture at the end. So what we've learned here is first turn has won every game. So Delhi gets on the board with a win against Smokes, but it is making me suspicious that uh, perhaps Smokes will uh, get revenge here because first turn seems to be very good on this AI rather than second turn. But we shall see. So far, 100% wins for first turn. Smokes has no chosen starter, so we will click AI move. Starts with a strongish corner. Looks like Delhi has it covered. Delhi also plays an adjacent corner. Smokes does not take the in-between square. He has 6754 ready to recapture from above or below if needed, and does not necessarily control both three and seven. So this might be a game where Delhi all is a good shot here. Delhi all plays safely in seven. Smokes goes in one, not with the seven out, because that was well covered. Delhi plays an eight. Smokes with a move in five. Is this enough? It is enough for the tie, but no more. So Smokes finishes with 1.5 out of 4. Delhi with the early lead in Group A. So Delhi with a half point lead over uh, Piggy Man will now be playing for the, the, the title of Group A champion. Piggy Man will need to outscore Delhi in this final match um, to advance from Group A. Otherwise, Delhi all very annoyingly will be in the finals. Um, Smokes sadly is out, which means white will not be the best color of all time. Probably for the best, to be honest. So Piggy Man is no intended starter, so I'll click AI move. He goes with a weak corner again. This played well against Smokes. Delhi, Delhi, this is this is accurate. This is historically correct. Delhi likes these next to corner plays. And I guess the point is maybe Piggy does not have a thing he can put in eight that can't be comboed. We could look for that. Instead, Piggy going complicated. All right, is Deli gonna take the safe square? No, he is not. Piggy is. Deli building out. Piggy will not occupy five. This looks like it cannot work, but it does because he had the plus wall on two. Interesting. Delhi could not go in five without flipping the card in two, and Piggy had the plus wall back. Very clever from Piggy. And we get a tie in game one. Interesting. I will uh, move you back to this picture as we uh, load up the next game. So Piggy must win on second turn. We have not yet seen a second turn win, or the Deli All AI is through, um, which no one wants. Nobody wants that. Must win situation. Very tense. So, nope. And the game's up. 
And Delial's chosen starter is six, seven, four, three, and seven. Will Piggy find a way to pressure it? He goes in five, setting up a same in eight that Deli does not share. Deli decides to cut off that square by playing a nine, trying to force immediate use of eight, and Piggy does not have a safe card to put there. So Piggy instead goes for the, uh, the far corner, which is structurally safe, but does allow an X. Deli does not take it. Is he again saying there's no safety for you in six? Piggy does go safely in six. Deli goes in two. Piggy combos back, but it's not enough. We tie, and Delhi is through to the finals, having won Group A with a score of two and a half out of four. So now we're going to move on to Group B. Uh, to remind you, this is Tezuka, was up and Foyer. And we will start with Tezuka versus was up. Tezuka will take first turn in the first game. We still haven't had a win for second turn. This may be a first turn favorite AI. And there are going to be more pre-selected hands in this group B. So I'm going to load up the game. And I think we do have a pre-selected hand here. Uh, Tezuka wanted 50%. He starts with 7, 4, 4, 6, and 5. And 50%, it's random. So we're going to flip a coin. Uh, you won't see it, but heads will be his intended, tails will be, not random, but the AI picks. It is heads, so he's going to start with 7, 4, 4, 6, and 5. Um, my hand was designed to put 6, 6, 5, 4, and 5. We'll see that in a moment. All right, weak corner play. Sets up 6, 6, 5, 4 well. He sets up the J formation with those 7 outs that might be difficult for my hand to deal with. That's a weird move. I, I, would, I would not make this move. He takes the safe square. Yep, good move. I think I'm in trouble. Uh, this this is looking like trouble. But somehow this was a tie. I guess the um, I had a second card for a plus and six. Hmm. So if he goes eight, he cannot capture either of my cards in six, and I'll have something good to put there. Specifically six two seven six and six. And if he play, yeah. I guess maybe this does sneak out? Huh. Doesn't feel like it deserves to, but okay. I will take the opening game tie. Sorry that I show more interest in the hand I did. That's, uh, you know, bad form. And we will switch, switch hands. Weird game. Sometimes the AI looks very clever and sometimes it looks very strange. Uh, hope these games have been interesting. I know I'm moving through them very fast, but I want to, you know, have the tournament move. And if anyone wants to analyze these games afterwards, I think they're kind of interesting. Especially if you want to stop and check out your own games and tell me, ah, this is where your AI screwed my hand over. That'd be a lot of fun for me. So my intended starter is 6, 6, 5, 4, and 5. I set that as automatic. Let's see how Tezuka replies. All right, we got a J formation. This AI responds so weirdly to J's. Like, this just seems so terrible to me. It just gives up such a free square. Will it find another save out of this? Maybe. Eh, it doesn't look much like it. Yeah. All right, so it doesn't find the save both games. Uh, oh, no, I didn't want to win this tournament. Well, I'm now on one and a half, so Foyer better stop me. Um, Tezuka has actually been playing with the hand he ran with. Uh, let's have Foyer play Tezuka first. Tezuka has been going out and playing with the hand, and I think doing very well with it. Uh, though, of course, it does use some low-level cards, which the AI might have more trouble dealing with. So, first turn, we have Foyer, who wanted 50% to play 7, 6, 6, 3, and 7, and 50% to do the AI move. So let's flip a coin. Heads is the Foyer move, and it is heads again. This makes sense from Tezuka. He already has a nice take in 2, and so he sets up to have better takes in 8. Foyer with the, the tri-corner setup, setting up 3763 three, and a whole lot of squares. Tezuka cutting off one of the squares for it to be great in by going four corners. Will we get next formation? We will get next formation. Too much to calculate. Let's see what Tezuka does. I can see I can see Foyer running out of left power. That 3763 three is good in both squares though, yes. Foyer takes the win. 
Can Tezuka peg him back? So Tezuka using lower level cards, which I think is something he can handle, but maybe the AI can't. Because it turns out, Tezuka's a better player than the AI. Uh, let's flip you back over just for a moment to the hand so you can enjoy their beauty. I was going to show the uh, live images of the hands during the games just so you could have a, uh, a nicer view of something attract visually attractive during the games, but it was uh, more effort than I wanted to go moving things around. So I hope this, I hope this satisfies people. Um, Tezuka on first turn is again a coin flip. Will he go 7, 6, 4, 4, 7, 4, 4, 6, and 5, or will the AI decide? Heads again, he will go 7, 4, 4, 6, and 5. Foyer with the weak corner reply. Tezuka, he did have good cards for, maybe he didn't have good cards for 6. Because 6, 2, 6, 6 is always comboed. So he cuts off the square six, and by cuts off, I mean sort of forces play there or pressures the opponent to go there because it would be a safe square for you too, which kind of, I think, playing in this nearby corner in these center corner setups is a way of cutting off a square from the game that you don't play well in. Um, Foyer takes the safe square, but now always has to be careful about flipping five because that can be very dangerous. Still manages to avoid it so far. And that 2667, is that going to be a good enough sweeper? It does have the plus on both sixes. It is a good enough sweeper. Tezuka wins on the return. Um, and now Foyer must defeat was up to avoid a was up W all finals. How dull. Maybe we just pick the most overpowered hands. Um, okay, so now was up will take on Foyer. Foyer must score one and a half here to advance. So here are the hands again. Can Foyer take one and a half points here? This is the question. To advance from group B, Tezuka is out. Uh, the low level strategy did not work with this AI, but can Foyer come through? Uh, so this would be the AI chosen move, but I set it to always be this one. Goes for the corner. Hopefully I don't have good setups against it. Rooting for Foyer here. Ooh. I never love these plays, but the AIs do. I can occupy safely. Am I going to run out of down power? All right, Foyer gets the tie. So Foyer has first turn to try to win it. If Foyer wins, Foyer is through to the finals. If I manage a tie or win, I will be facing Delial in the finals. Something that's never actually happened in a tournament. All right. Uh, Foyer's hand is 50% AI chosen, 50% 7663 and 7. Let's see it. Heads wins again. <laughs> The, the uh, coin flipper is fixed, goes in seven. I set up against it in five, five, seven, four, five, looks very well set up. Sets up the J. Js have done pretty well for first turn because the AI keeps going in two in this kind of setup. It's not here though. Looks like, ooh, so the problem is with five, seven, four, five, and eight is potentially that's hit back by combos though. Not really seeing them, but okay, I don't take it. What's happening? I'm very confused. I think Foyer does it! I'm knocked out. Good job, Foyer. Uh, Foyer scores two and a half to win group B, and we will be having Foyer versus Delial in the finals. Let's go look at their hands. Let's think about these. Oh, you didn't see that game. You didn't see that whole game. Oh no, I'm a moron. Let's show the game. Um, so Foyer went here. <laughs> And this is the game. Oh, geez. I hope that didn't happen in previous rounds. Oh, God. So, just uh, speeding through the game. Sorry about that. Oh, dear. Congrats to Foyer. Uh, I'm great at this stuff. No problems here. And our finals is Foyer versus Delial. They will each get a first turn. Let's keep with the pattern. 
Uh, Foyer doing really well with these 7663s, uh, bringing yellow through. 6266 also seems to have played well, and 3763 has been a surprisingly useful card. On the Deli All side, the dynamism of 6743s with some of the power of a 3666. And I haven't really paid attention to how the 7372 has played, but he's in the finals, so let's assume it has played well. And I will remember to actually bring up the game this time. Here it is. Game one of the finals. We have Foyer on the right going first and Delial on the left going second. We will coin flip for Foyer's first move. This may decide the whole finals here. And we got Tails, the AI will pick. The AI goes for a weak corner. Delial responds in two, always an interesting play, but he doesn't need to immediately address the corner as he already could attack it multiple ways. I do notice his 6743 can't necessarily take from eight now as it gets comboed back in five. Uh, Foyer has no interest in that. He sets up the J setup, um, but makes some sense to maybe use a card that isn't as great up down in a game that is now going to be up down. Delhi goes in one. That's not safe, but it does look like he has many ways to combo back if that's taken. So the normal move for Foyer would be maybe to set up a Z. He does not. He sets up combos everywhere. Deli blocks four. Foyer takes back. And the 6266 is not a good enough sweeper. Foyer let down by the AI starter. Our first win for second turn in the finals. Foyer will now need a win on second turn to tie, to hold on, and not have lost the tournament. Ooh. We gotta stop Delhi. He wins too many things. So here's another look at the hands. The Delhi starter is 6, 7, 4, 3, and 7. And we'll go back to the game. Here's our final game, potentially. Unless Foyer can come back and win on second turn. We just saw our first second turn win. He goes in five. Okay, okay. We're setting some stuff up. We've got some sames, some pluses. Mostly all sames. Deli goes in the far corner. All right. His only recapture on that... Mm. Okay. All right, Foyer attacks something. I, I think I like this, because if um, if 7436 takes back an 8, everything is open to combos, and we're going to need something where we have real winning chances. So this might be the way to do it. Deli does take back. Can Foyer get an advantage out of the combos? Ah, the problem is he only really has two, and that can get pegged back pretty quick. Yeah, I don't think he has it. Can't take two. Combo back, and Delhi wins 8-2 to close out the finals. Terrible news. Close it all back down. Uh, Delhi All has won our first clan event, um, winning the hand-building competition. This was a lot of fun for me. I think it would be fun to do another one. Green's a pretty good color. Go Celtics. So not a disaster for the universe for green to be the official greatest color of all time. I hope everyone had fun making hands for this. This was obviously um, an incredibly serious competition. I liked that some people went out and played with their hands that they had built. Uh, I think this was a fun first thing. Uh, Delhi's prize is, of course, that green is now the widely accepted greatest color of all time. I may also send him a small number of points, but maybe I won't. I'd send it if anyone else had won. You know, this is good unbiased uh, management. And... Uh, Fun tournament. Congrats to uh, everyone for making hands because I got a kick out of it.